I have a mold. It's right there. What this mold is, is it's a snowman. With a wee hat. So, uh, what intrigued me about this little snowman is it has um, a crevasse, if you will, that, you know, you could use as a uh, trinket holder, a pen cup, uh, basically whatever you want to do, but you know me, I've got to be a bit special about things, and I am going to try to make a snow globe out of it. So what I've done off camera because you know it was really early in the morning and I didn't want to turn on the camera and start talking and risk waking people up. What I've done is around this little neck you can see a scarf. So what I did is I flipped it inside out and I dusted the scarf only with my um, eye candy, uh, uh, ghost violet color. Oh, and I also did, he has little, little buttons down his, uh, down his tummy. So I dusted those as well. Now, whether or not that's going to work, I don't know. But, you know, hey, why not? And then his little hat, I went in and did the same thing just with the little ball of his hat, you know, because see how it's a little little toboggan with a little little ball at the bottom. So we're going to try to make a snow globe um, out of a snowman. So a snowman globe. Um, you know, or why not, right? Yeah, it's October. Who cares? Um, just getting rid of the rest of the little bubbles that have decided to float to the top. I did run this through my uh, bubble remover. So let's do some stuff. I'm not entirely sure. I know I measured this, but honestly, I don't remember um, what I measured it out to. So we're, we're winging it. Uh, so what I did is I put four ounces in my cup. So we've got four ounces of resin. Ha ha ha. This is just my regular one-to-one -one epoxy resin, medium viscosity. Uh, and I'm just going to pour it in. Now, this is deep. You know, it's 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 a tall mold, so um, I want to make sure that I don't put any heat on it or anything like that because I'm not particularly fond of the fact that it may flash cure. Um, it is currently in the mid 70s in my room, so it is technically room temperature according to most uh, epoxy resin companies. So let's just pour this thing. Shut up, Rev. So there we go. One snowman, one hat. I am going to encourage bubbles to go elsewhere with some uh, of that, 99% alcohol. Um, if we do get some bubbles in there, that's fine. It's going to be a snow globe, so you know they won't be quite as uh, visually prevalent. Uh, I'm going to wait until some of these bubbles come up to the top more, and then I'm going to go around his little uh, rim of his hat here to uh, try to get any bubbles that happen to be in there out. But that's ridiculously boring, and you don't want to sit through that. So I will see you guys when it's time for next steps. See you soon. Alrighty, so it is time to demold. So let's do that, shall we? We'll start with our hat. Kind of snow hat. 
Uh, they've got some bubbles around the rim, but that's okay. Because we're really not going to see that part. All cute. Cute, cute, cute. Here's our little hat. That's very cute. And in the hat, I didn't run um, the hat resin uh, through the uh, bubble remover, so that's also another reason why uh, I probably got some uh, tiny bubbles in there. So now let's go for our snowman. Let's see what he does. And I gotta tell you, having this hole in the middle, it is making it easier to demold. So yay. I think I got this mold from Timu. Uh, uh, yeah, I did. I got it from Timu. Alright, so let me turn him back a little bit. Uh, that's, that's very appropriate looking, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get that turned back. And I did mark it for myself. Five ounces for the big part, one ounce for the hat. And then here's our little buddy. Purple turned out really cute, very subtle. I like it. Resin looks very clear. So that's good. And apparently, no, I did not do the buttons. I just did the scarf. Couldn't remember. It seems to be a common theme with me these days. Very, very cute. So I think what we are going to do, though, is go in and fill in our little eyeballs and our buttons. Let's do that with some UV resin, shall we? Yes. Uh, so for the buttons, I believe, if I can find it, you hear me bustling around in my box of UV resin. We use purple. Purple. Grab Old Faithful. Neat. If you're wondering what Old Faithful is, in case you haven't been here before, it's my little uh, Let's Resin, UV Resin curing lamp that I've had since the beginning of time, and I love it because it never fails me, it never doesn't work. Um, Alright, so. Eyeballs, 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 eyeballs. Boop. I'm going to do the eyes one at a time because since our little snowman is rounded, I don't want it to come out of his um, eye holes and leak all over the place, or run all over the place, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm going to do them one at a time, gently. Okay. And you might be saying to yourself, g -Rup, purple isn't really a very holiday color. Says who? Uh, you can use whatever color you want. You can use traditional holiday colors. You can use non-traditional holiday colors. You can use no color at all. What is traditional holiday colors anyway? Everybody thinks it's green and red, but it's really, you know, it's whatever you want it to be. I chose purple this time because right now I'm feeling purplish. So what I'm doing is going around and on the inside and around the edges, I'm just getting off any fingerprints that I may have put in there. 
because we're going to fill it up with things to make a snow globe. So I'm just using a little wipey here and just going around and making sure that I get all the little fingerprints off and whatnot. And I'm going to be filling in with these guys. And these are fake clouds that I got uh, from BB Craft. And basically what they are, they're just bits of styrofoam that have been uh, made to look like clouds. So I'm just going to take these apart and turn them from cloud-looking styrofoam into <laughs> snow-looking styrofoam. Gently tearing them into little tiny pieces. I think just for a subtle snow globe, that's plenty. Um, I mean, you can have a all right blizzard in there if you want to, but I don't, so I want it subtle-ish. Uh, when I say subtle-ish, this is what I mean. I'm going to be adding a little bit of my eye candy glimmer ghost violet um, mic powder. Now, this is slightly less chunky than the Galactic Ghost Violet, which has, you know, large uh, chunks of uh, flake in it. And the Glimmer is a, a little bit more on the subtle side. So, not much. And just tap, 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 tap. And put that in there. And what we're filling him with is lubricant laxative. Uh, mineral oil, essentially, is all it is. It's just mineral oil. Uh, you can use, um, a lot of people use, uh, oh gosh, what is the name of that stuff? I don't know. Slime. Uh, it's, a, it's a different kind of oil. Uh, propylene, glycol something? I don't know. You can use pretty much anything that has viscosity, uh, and it'll work. I just happen to have mineral oil on hand. So I'm going to fill it up, mostly to the rim of his little face. Okay, because I do want there to be a little bit of a distance. A little bit of a buffer, if you will. And then I'm just going to clean off anything that I happen to dribble around the rim. With a my wappy. And now you can decide how you want to place your hat. Um, and this is again where our UV resin comes in. Uh, UV resin is very handy for this, especially if you don't want to jack with um, adhesive things that take a long time to adhese. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the hat itself just with a thin line of UV resin. Okay. And I'm giving it a little bit of distance. Making sure that I've got plenty of clearance. Okay. 
right. Get Old Faithful ready. Plop on the little hat. Give it a smoosh. And then start curing. And yes, I am holding it because I don't want it to decide to all of a sudden go, ah, well, you know what? No, I don't I don't feel like being stuck down anymore. And then you have a big gloopy gloppy mess and it's just a thing. Okay, so two and a half minutes later, and you can see our little dude. Give him a bit of a shake. <laughs> and look. So here we have just a cute little, almost a snowman lava lamp if you will. But, uh, yeah. And as the uh, mineral oil saturates into the um, styrofoam, it will start weighing them down a little bit because right now they're still very buoyant. But you can see the, uh, the glimmer. You can see the little effect through his hat. Now that magnifies a little bit. And you just have a cute little snow globe. So anyway, fun, simple holiday stuff. Just silly stuff to make. If you're feeling festive. So what I'll do is I'll give him a little buff up with a a microfiber cloth that I used to clean my glasses, which is sort of a moot point in and of itself because my glasses are so scratched up at this point there's just no real reason to clean them anymore. Uh, there we go. So yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it for my uh, silly little project time, silly little holiday projects with Rev. But I hope to see you again on the next one. You can pop him right so you can see his little face. Hopefully. Maybe. There you go. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. I'll see you next time. Take care. Cheers.